This is Greg Roman, director of the Middle East Forum, a research center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here at the Knesset, Israel's parliament in Jerusalem, the eternal capital of the Jewish state, of the Jewish people. And the reason why we're here today is to be able to bring a new paradigm for peacemaking to the Middle East, one in which we have to be able to understand that the Oslo peace process that would start with a handshake on the White House lawn in 1993 is one that is no longer a strategy for success. Talk after talk, negotiation after negotiation, we don't see a preference of peace amongst the Palestinians who are the neighbors of the Israelis, but what we end up seeing is more blood being spilled after every negotiation ends with a Palestinian veto over a peace process that was actually for their benefit. So we propose flipping the paradigm on its head, saying to the Israelis, do what you have to do to win your war and saying to American politicians, policymakers, and the Jewish community that supports Israel there, or even the pro-Zionist community, the pro-Israel community in the United States that supports Israel, give Israel the room that it needs to operate freely to convince the Palestinians that they have lost their war. Wars end not when one side declares victory, but when one side recognizes defeat. So as, as soon as Israel is willing to impose its will upon its Palestinian neighbors, and we're not starting with zero here, something around 20 to 25 percent of Palestinians want to live side by side with a Jewish state. But if they hope to develop their own pol uh, polity, economy, society, and culture devoid of rejecting a Jewish right to live here, then that's what the Israel Victory Project is for.